Hey there, everybody. Thomas Wood with ValueCharts.com. It is Monday, August 10th. And we're going to take a look at crude oil and a couple of the trades we had in the futures trading room and then why we took those specific trades. Uh, now, initially this morning, we had a short in crude oil. We ended up going short based on this head and shoulders pattern right here on a 500 tick chart on a break below 43.99. I ended up working out fairly well. It came all the way down about 45 ticks or so to the downside. And then we had support down here at 43.55. And we had said, actually, we had said that if it broke through 43.55, we were going to be bearish down to 35. However, when you see this market break through support like that and then rip higher like this did, that's very, very bullish. Is what that's telling us is that the market just ran the stops below that support. So then what we did is we said, okay, well, that's no longer bearish. It's now bullish. So we're going to wait for our entry on the bull side. And the bullish first entry we had here was this trend line break right at about, again, 44 level, uh, breaking through the trend line, connecting these two pivots here. And then you can see it just ripped higher. And we actually had a target of 44.77 uh, right here based on a 240 minute downtrend line. Uh, which we, we ended up going right up, poking that trend line, and then reversed, pulled right back down uh, about about 40 ticks worth of a swing pullback. And then we ended up, since then, we were tracing and hit a new high. Uh, but overall, not a bad not a bad day for trading crude oil. A couple of really big swings you could have taken out, oh, about $1,000, $1,500 trading one lots uh, throughout the day. So great job for those of you that were in the trade room that took those trades. They worked out really well. That's all I have for you for today. Make sure you pay attention, though. The moral of the story today is make sure you pay attention to previous pivot highs and lows and watch when a market how a market reacts when it breaks through those support resistance levels if it's going to go it should just break through and run and if it pokes through and then reverses really hard a lot of times that's very very bullish a failed bearish signal is very bullish and a lot of times a failed bullish signal is very bearish all right that's it for today and until next time happy trading